George has checked in. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. Off target with his three. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. From deep, George. Next down, the ball. ball. The high to see over the defense and the unselfishness. Terrific pass by Martin. Maxi with it. He's picked up by Collins. And B kicks to Maxi. 14 feet away. It's hauled in by Dunn. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he likes to forget. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage. We haven't seen a lot of players come from Finland. Well, the answer Bob Parkin in his front. Not at all. Only the second NBA player from Finland. It's got to be a special feeling to represent your home country like that. Kept alive. You know, fought hard from start to finish on that play. Defended the shot and then finished it off with the rebound. Next team, no good. He's kind of lost his way this period. Having a hard time getting anything to go down. And the shot's good. Great insight for this team. Dunn's hitting from distance, and this offense really opens up. The pass to Machuca. Here's MB. Played in with a nice well, touch on the MB just got his second basket. But and they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Here's Dunn. And a miss there on the triple. And you can tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. But free. That's good. And the assist by Sexton. Dunn's got 11 points. And the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Two seconds separate the shot clock and game. Right there, the length of Collins to be the difference. Not in my house, he says. Hot boost. MB, the best to Maxi. Pulls up. High post. A shot. No good. Missed opportunity wide open for mid range. He would love to get that one. Right the end of the game. So it's the Utah Jam. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And the three-point shot has been big for him. He's got more in store for you right after this. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the champions. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. And also, given the game is more fast-paced nowadays, I like the way they've capitalized in transition to keeping their foot on the ass. So to begin the second quarter for the Colorado the 76ers, we've got Buffer Beverly, and Beefy is out there with Marcus Morris. Then there's Kelly Oubre, and it's here to the small forward position. I love the patience Beverly has developed with the ball in his hands. Terrific five. Smitty always room for improvement, but one thing Utah does need is rebound. Kevin, you're so right. These guys attack the glass. They use their size to beat others to the loose ball. They're doing that well. So we love our success. That was first. Daniel Hall is checked in for Joe Nelson. Substitution on the court. Here's Beverly. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Golden State. Good on the triple. Beverly's got himself going for his first points of the game on the deep ball. Even though he's more the size of a point guard, Patrick Beverly's better off ball than initiated. Marking it inside the line. And Utah oh, hit him the with the buttons. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. 
They came in focused and they executed. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And you think of height as an advantage of basketball, but great the versatility is such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? That's a lot of questions. The two biggest concerns being set for the first one and endurability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. Here's Embiid. Tries again. Embiid is a
away. And we finish one half of basketball. Jazz lead by eight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, John. It was a back and forth first half, but you got the lead. How did you get it? Uh, nice mix, you know, uh, the first group came out and we, we had a solid half, fed up a little bit, so I think our bench guys came in and gave us the needed minutes, finished out the half strong, and we got the lead going into the next half, so uh, way to finish out the half for the guys, for sure. Thanks very much for your time, John. Back to you. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal. And the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Chris Dunn led the way in the first half. He had 13 points, two assists, and two rebounds. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles their last time out. Shaq, how'd you think the Jazz were playing? The way they're shooting in from deep, they're going to be hard to beat. This team has a lot of confidence. Let's fly without any pitch. Defensively, you have to the ball. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Philadelphia? Playing on the road is definitely more of a challenge. But you know that coming in. They didn't seem all well prepared for this line. I'm sure the coach is trying to like coach them up and change the momentum in their favor. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? Ball movement has been off. Once 
outside of a great playmaker, hitting his man in stride. On team Collins. Rebound by the 76ers. Harris has got four rebounds now tonight. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet they continue to lead. Now here's Dunn. Nicholas Batum on the way to his shot to go. You got to give it to Chris Dunn. He's been showing the scoring load his entire basketball career. And now he's doing it at this level. And there's the whistle. That goes on Chris Dunn. Second team. That'll be his second foul of the game. On a different move than he took. Olenek, he's checked in for Clarkson. And Taylor Horton Tucker subbed in for Dunn. All reads checked in for the 76ers. Marcus Morris comes in for Tobias Harris. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Pass to Olenek. Fires away from way outside. The basket do have the assist from Sexton. And the Jazz lead by 20. Most big guys wouldn't shoot this from that distance, but Kelly Olenek made it look effortless. Horton Tucker with it. Parted now by Morton. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. 76ers ball. Olenek is figular. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at the Jazz. They've managed to crawl down to the ninth best record in the conference. And I think for the Jazz, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some hope. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship caliber team. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, and they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. Offensive rebound. Jazz lead by 20. And there's another turnover by the Jazz. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Joel and B. Looking it over. They get the rebound. And he lays it straight in. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Horton Tucker. Drops in the tray. Horton Tucker's got his first spots of the game. And the Bulls aren't the type of three point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Looking to get it going. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a back seat for that dunk. Wow. wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. Oubre, good. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. Here's Horton Tucker. He's covered by Max. is mounting for the defense. Maxi, another three right, from Philadelphia. Maxi baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. And you can tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Here's Horton Tucker. And no good in the last second attempt this time. Andrew with the Utah Jazz. With a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. And if they keep training the threes like they've been so far, their lead is safe. We come back right after this. State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And, and what a beautiful feat. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels.
that there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And so, in the game for the 76ers, the bearing up front is Harris and MB. Patrick Beverly out there with Maxie, and it's Martin in at the small forward. And he wheels that hand work, sinking right through off the back iron. Looking to make plays for others. We've seen this from him all night. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Right open look there. Wow. They've been terrific from beyond here in the second. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for Utah. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Three-pointer. Trains the three-pointer. And the Jazz lead by 16. I mean, he only attempted just one three-pointer in college. Collins has surprised the NBA with his consistency for brain. And that one's good, Maxi. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. And then buck it in and no time at all. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. Pass to Embiid. A shot. And again, it's still an Embiid. And really, Embiid is a threat to score from anywhere. The defense has got to earn it. It's all calls timeout. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, GA. Thanks, guys. Able to listen in on Will Hardy's huddle with his team. Now, Coach told his team we're up. Take care of the ball. Don't give them the game. Playing smart basketball will clinch a victory for us. Guys, make it in. MB just knows where to go. MB positioning himself perfectly to get the putback. Here's Fontecchio. Off target from three point range. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three point attempt. Beverly loses to Martin. And he finishes nice on the way. Great pass to set your man up with a high precision look. Absolute with it. Archie for three. He is hauled in by Beverly. He feeds it to Harris. That's a two for Martin. They grab their own miss. But I'm sure next time he sits down, coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. And here's Maxie. After Jordan Clarkson hitting the three. Up it is good. And me and Beach got six in the quarter. And showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. The 76ers trail by 12. Here's Maxi Again, Philadelphia. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Now, here's Beverly. Outside, Martin. Here's Embiid. Deflected. And stolen by Harris. Down low. And it's blocked. They get him back. Oh, and the Jays get him out of the ball. And on the 76ers with some changes. And he goes for two. He's checked in for Martin. And Kelly O'Brien is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. 125 left to play here on the fourth. To the coup. And with that shot, the Jazz lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket for Maxi. And me using those sidelines to find an open guy. And me always ready to deliver. And the Jazz fall tight here. We're up by eight. We've got 118 left here in the fourth quarter. And now the moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Chris Dunn. And guys, this really has been his night. He's done a lot of things well, but his scoring really put him over the top. You can see how determined he's been every time he's gotten his hands on the ball. 
great drive and also great focus offensively. Thanking you for being with us. So long and good night, everyone.